hey guys here we get the new update this is the optional quality update we get in windows 10 laptop and desktop ok to update it first go to settings and if we go in update and security so you can see you are up to date but here you can see the optional quality update is available this is 2022-09 cumulative update preview for windows 10 version 21h2 for x64 based systems kv5017380 and guys the size of this update is 671 mb and if you want to know more about this just click on learn more and here if we go in windows 10 version 21h2 update history so here you can see this is the September 20, 2022 KB5017380 and you can see the OS builds and uh, if we slide down so you can see in highlights you can see the new highlighted features you can now search for the controls for news and interest on the taskbar and modify them using the settings app to change your settings navigate to settings personalization taskbar news and interest otherwise otherwise right click the taskbar and select taskbar settings and one more new here you can see all taskbar orientation now supports news and interest uh, top left or right taskbar now has uh, features and settings much like the horizontal taskbar and you can see address is an issue that requires you to reinstall an app if you did not get the app from the microsoft store this issue occurs after you upgrade to windows 10 or a newer os and you can see address is a rare error that leads to the blue screen this occurs after you change the display mode while you are using more than one display and you can see address is an issue that uh, forces the ie mode that tabs in a session to reload and you can see address is an issue that affects ie mode after you open a pdf file when you try to open a different page using the same browser windows the page will not open in that browser window and you can see address is an issue that affects the microsoft japanese ime when it is active and the ime mode is on when you use the numeric keypad to insert a dash character the ime insert the wrong one and you can see addresses an issue that affects the rendering of the search box it does not render properly if you sign in using tablet mode and you can see the address is a known issue that affects daylight saving time in chile this issue might affect the time and dates used for meetings apps tasks services transaction and more and you can see the improvements over there and here you can see the known issues in this update this is the known issues in this update click or tap to view the known issues here you can see the known issues and uh, this is to how to get this update and this is the instructions to install this update and this is the file information okay so you can see many highlights are available over there and you can see the new feature is also available you can see highlight new there's two things you can see okay now close it okay guys when you are ready to download and install this update just download and install it okay now i am going to download and install this update so just click on download and install so as you can see downloading start guys it might take some time because the size of this update is 671 mb okay so you can see downloading speed is going good and guys before before installing an update make sure that uh, you have plugged in to the power source as you can see downloading 52 percent completed as you can see recently i plugged in and you can see one hour seven minutes to full charge
during installation during and software update during this windows update keep your device plugged in so you can see downloading 100% complete it took 9 months you can see i'm not thinking but uh, installing always might be an issue it starts from uh, zero again and which is a really big big bug it is a major issue it is taking too much time here you can see still at downloading 100% so guys here you can see after 5 to 6 minutes you can see installing is start currently at okay installing speed is going good hope it will not again start from zero as you can see installing 20% it might take some time 5 minutes completed and here you can see installing is currently at 20% which is not a good thing so guys here you can see installing directly moved to 44% here you can see seven minutes completed now i predict it will take uh, more time to again move to the big number so as you can see it is slowly moving 45% Okay guys this is a really good thing you can see directly move to 73% which is a really good thing my prediction was wrong not took too much time you can see okay here you can see slowly moving 74% so you can see now the speed is going good after few minutes you can see installing 79% okay now it is uh, going good installing 80% 81 okay so you can see installing 90% complete hope it will not again start from zero So you can see, guys, installing 100% completed. Okay, so this is a really good thing. You can see, I get the restart now and schedule the restart option. So you can see, the whole process, installation process, uh, took uh, 15 minutes and the whole process uh, took uh, 33 minutes. So you can see, after after the whole process, you can see you get this options, restart now and schedule the restart. okay after the restart this update will install and it might take uh, 4 to 5 minutes okay guys thanks for watching if you have any query related to this video let me know in comment section below please like share subscribe and click on bell icon for latest updates